What is up my peepholes, this is your guy Kali and welcome back to Budget Buys. Now with Prime Day just around the corner, the folks over at GoV reached out to me yet again to have me review one of their products. And just like before, this is going to be an LED strip with the ability to hook up to Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Though where the previous strips were general use, this one was definitely designed with TVs in mind. And you'll understand what I mean by that shortly. But first, let's go ahead and get this little guy out of the box. And I might add that this is actually a really firmly packed box and it does a great job keeping the overall packaging profile low. Now right here on top we have the LED strip inside of an anti-static bag and underneath this you have the manual, a quick start installation guide, some alcohol swabs to prep your surfaces because this does adhere, a little thank you card, the control box and power supply, as well as some 3M clips to help everything stick better. Hiding inside this little box is a USB power supply rated at 5 volts and 2 amps, just in case your TV doesn't have a built-in USB port. Though I would suggest a cheap USB extension cable if you're going to be using that, they're like a dollar or two. Anyway, let me get all of this out of the way and do a close-up of the light strip. And here we have the LED strip pulled out of the bag, and if you're wondering how long this is, it's about 3 meters. And you'll understand what I mean when I say about 3 meters and not exactly 3 meters momentarily. The first thing I actually want to point out is right here. This is where your strip is actually going to connect to your control unit. And unlike some of the strips I've reviewed in the past, they actually made it so that you know which way is up. You'd think that would be a standard feature, but sadly not so much. The way this plugs into the control box is that this little lip here at the top goes underneath this clip right here. So if you line everything up just right, there we go. Now before I demonstrate this LED strip for you, let me just go ahead and start unwinding it. And while I'm at it, I can actually show you both why this is designed for TVs and why I say this is about 3 meters worth of LEDs. And the reason is right here. This is a little flexible ribbon cable that they've installed at regular intervals on this strip, specifically at 50 centimeters and 100 centimeters so that it can get around corners on the back of your TV. And well, if you do the math, you're going to have two 100 centimeter sections and two 50 centimeter sections, which ultimately comes to three meters with breakpoints. And I actually really like these things. Someone in a previous video's comment section pointed out that these exist, which until then I actually didn't know they existed, but these allow you to take these self-customizable strips and corner them a lot better, like I just mentioned. But in this case, it is done for you as opposed to you needing to cut, solder, or at least cut and clip. But enough about that, let me go ahead and get this whole thing unfurled and then we can move on to the testing portion. All right, I've gone ahead and cut my recording lights because I'm going to be demonstrating how sound sensitive these are. And as such, I should go ahead and issue a flashing lights warning. If you're sensitive to such things, you should look away now. With that out of the way, let me go ahead and get these fired up. Alexa, turn on TV LED. And there we go. As you can see, they are sensitive enough to respond to the sound of my voice and I'm projecting slightly but not yelling. Let's see how quiet I can get because I don't really need to talk that loudly to get these to fire off. And yeah, they're pretty sensitive, but it gets better. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the Go V Home app on my phone, which you can't quite see, but if I just tap here, let it connect really quickly, I can actually adjust the sensitivity of the microphone and make it not flash that much. And I can even adjust the brightness of the LEDs. I can turn off the color shifting and just leave them on a single color and put it at my favorite color, green. 
Alright, since I'm doing another TV LED strip, I've decided to once again break out the mini stunt TV. Now admittedly, this strip is meant for TVs in the 45 to 65 inches range and not the 10 inch range, but I don't have enough room behind my actual 50 inch TV to show you how to install this, so this part will be done on this little guy. First off, we need to grab the LED strip and peel away the adhesive that goes on the self-adhesive backing. It's pretty simple. You just grab and tug, being careful not to remove the actual adhesive. And yes, the adhesive does come off of this if you need it to because it can be replaced with double-sided tape in case you're going to be moving this around a lot and you get a kind of dusty on the little strip here. Anyway, let's press it down and keep in mind, it, once again, if you're going to be moving this around, this has about as much grab as repositionable glue, and that's a huge bonus in my opinion. Now, at the corner, what you need to do is pinch it, and then you can set things up going in the other direction. If I just peel this right here. All right, the backing on that did not want to let go, but that does mean it won't come off in transit. So... Just pinch your corner, press down the other strip, and you are set. Now there is no adhesive right here on these extreme ends, so they will pop up a little bit. But when you have this behind a suitably sized TV, you won't have that little bit right there dangling off. Anyway, let me get this onto my full-size TV and show you how it looks. And that is the GoV TV LED strip. Now this will set you back about $20 on Amazon as of right now, but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Prime Day is coming up. And as such, GoV is holding a little bit of a promotion on their website, which I will link down below, where you can get the majority of their products at up to 60% off. Now, this does fall into the new arrivals category, so you're only going to be saving about 36%. But 36% is not exactly a savings to scoff at. I will include the coupon code for that particular savings down below as well. And of course, I'll have a direct link to the product on Amazon in the description as well. And that just about covers it. So until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.